kamakailan, I gave you a safari experience mula sa Bulacan. Pero alam ko hinahanap nyo pa rin ang real African experience. Kaya naghanap ako and I found the next best thing. Pagkain of course. Dito sa Pasig City, nakilala ko si Chris, isang South African chef na naninirahan at nagtatrabaho sa isang BPO company sa ating bansa. Dahil sa nagustuhan ng kanyang mga kaopisinang Pinoy ang lasa ng South African food, ay ginawa niyang hobby ito. So, uh, many years ago, I qualified as a chef um, and I've always had a passion for food. Um, I used to make it purely for um, personal consumption and for special events. And over the years, I had uh, friends uh, tell me, you know, this is good enough that you can start a business with it. The recipe that I use is four generations old uh, from my great grandfather. Um, and yeah, I adjust it to suit uh, Filipino tastes and uh, also to suit Filipino uh, ingredients. So initially, I was brought over uh, for work. I work in the BPO industry. Um, I still do. Uh, and fell in love with the Philippines and decided to stay. It was initially supposed to be two years in the Philippines, uh, but uh, here we are 10 years later. Uh, I love the country, I love the people. Isang typical na madidinig natin sa mga Aprikano pag may okasyon ang salitang braai. Ngunit ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nito? Uh, a braai is what people would commonly know as a barbecue. Uh, in South Africa, uh, a braai is a social event. Uh, we get together, we have a few drinks, we talk to each other. Um, and the food, even though it's the star of the occasion, uh, it's always secondary because it's ma mainly about the get together. Uh, a braai can have a small piece of meat or it can have the or only meat. Pinatikim tayo ni Chris ng ilang South African specialties. Una, ang biltong. Isang dried cured lean meat na merong suka, asin, spices na pinatuyo ng ilang araw gamit ang hangin. Sunod naman ang dry worse o air dried cured meat na parang longganisa ngunit ship casing ang ginagamit bilang balat ng sausage. Sa mga pagkain ng South African, yung dalawang yan ay tipikal na hilaw at pinatuyo lamang sa hangin. Ang sunod naman ay borewurst o sausage na gawa sa purong laman ng baka na may halong iba't ibang spices. Ito naman ay tipikal na iniihaw bago kainin. Pinakita sa atin ni Chris ang tipikal na African meal kung saan ang mga karne ay tineternohan lamang ng potato salad at tinapay na hindi daw kagaya sa atin na tineternohan ng kanin. Ito daw ay para magkaroon ng kwentuhan at kamustahan ang bawat isa. Alam nyo ba na kahit foreigner siya ay sinusuportahan niya pa rin ang local food suppliers? Um, so what I do is uh, I've pretty much deconstructed uh, the traditional uh, spices that would normally happen. Uh, but I source all my spices locally uh, and mix the, 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 the concoction uh, yeah, so all my meat uh, and spices are locally sourced.